Well, hello everyone. Welcome. Today is Sunday. It is our first Sunday in Argentina. Well, technically, for me, it's Monday, but let's not tell anyone. You guys know the drill. I am a time traveler, and this is how we do things. Uh, but anyway, uh, today's Sunday, and for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. This was the day. Sunday was the day where all bets were off, and、um, you know. We really didn't give a fuck about what we ate, so let me just get right into it. It was Sunday. There's this nice cafe in the corner, and so I ended up going there. Now, there's something here in Argentina that it's basically like the most traditional thing that you can find for breakfast, and that's having a coffee and these little croissants that they call media lunas, like a half moon. But this is not a regular. Croissant that we're used to in the in the states, they're a little bit smaller, but they are loaded with butter and sugar. Like not added after the fact, but they're baked with a ton of butter and sugar. Like they're sweet, actually sweet. The you know because like a regular croissant is not sweet, but these guys are sweet and buttery and、mm, so good. And so now this was one of my things last year when I was here. Just. I had a lot of those, and it was a bit of a problem. I mean, clearly, right? But basically, like we started out Sunday with this. We had two media lunas and some coffee.、Uh, again, portions though. Like I, I'm starting to to realize、um, how big. I'm not starting to realize, but just I've known this. It's just getting back to a place where the portions are not as gigantic. Makes it so that you know, just in, you know, in perspective, puts everything else in perspective. And our portions in the U.S. are just ridiculous. They're just we need we need to do something about those portions in the U.S. Guys, they're just so big.、Uh, but yeah, so this was my breakfast, and、um, that was that. Then. Sundays in Buenos Aires、uh, for the past couple of years that we've been spending more time here.、Um, there, it, Sunday is、um, obviously a family day, all you know, basically in all of Latin America. But、um, there's、uh, like a like a street fair that happens at a very specific neighborhood in in the center of Buenos Aires called San Telmo.、Uh, that's the neighborhood where I have always lived when I've. Been here in in Argentina in Buenos Aires, and so, like to me, Sundays as you go out and you walk the fair, there are a lot of like artisans and and people who make you know、um, a lot of crafts, and it's it's just it's very fun and enjoyable, and、uh, food is good. And there's this one place in particular that makes a very specific type of、um, Argentinian sandwich.、Uh, Argentinian sandwiches tend to be very simple. It's like the The meat, the bread, and the chimichurri, which is the sort of、um, oily sauce. And so, there's one、uh, a very specific type of sandwich called sandwich de bondiola. Bondiola is kind of like very、um, thinly sliced pork, but it's not like like pork like a, like turkey slices or it's not a cured meat. It's it's very thinly sliced, but it's raw pork that then you do on the grill. And、mm, it is so good, and so that is what I had for lunch because we were walking the fair, and then we came went in there and had it. Is this very like unassuming place, total hole in the wall, but it is the most delicious thing ever.、Um, and so, yeah, that's what we had for lunch. I took a little video. I didn't take a picture. I took a little video because I wanted you guys to see the whole ambiance because it's you know like very. Yeah, I guess unassuming is the right word. Like it is very no frills, but so delicious. And this is what it looks like. Little place. It's only open on the weekends, or maybe only on Sundays. 
is run by this um, um, sort of like grumpy old man who's just like very focused and doing his thing. And then his kids and his wife, like he, he's a little bit older. And then his wife uh, sort of runs the, um, the, the, is the cashier. And then the kids sort of help with, you know, the stuff. And they're like grown kids, like in their 20s, maybe something like that. But anyway, uh, you know, very nice, very nice people. And the food is just amazing. It really is. I mean, so good. Uh, and we did have fries. We shared the fries. Um, and my girlfriend and I shared the fries and we each had a beer. So um, that's another thing that I guess I wasn't thinking of. Like there's a lot of beer, like beer and wine. Like people eat with beer and wine quite a bit, quite a bit. Like on a daily basis, it's definitely more, um, I don't want to say traditional, but it just, it happens more. So um, I'm going to have to make sure that I stick to my water and my seltzers that I've been, you know, my club soda, um, if you will. But that's definitely, you know, what's traditional here. You always end up eating with like wine or beer. Also, the times oh, completely throw you off. I mean, like nothing opens early in the morning. So like, uh, for example, the cafe in the corner doesn't open until nine o'clock. And, you know, lunch happens at like two and then dinner doesn't happen till like nine or 10. So I'm going to have to adjust, you know, I'm not, not adjust to eat that late, but make sure that I'm eating on the earlier side because that's what we want to do. That's what's healthy for us. But, you know, it's weird because the times when we're supposed to be having dinner at like five, that's when most people have just had lunch. So. You know, we're going to have to figure that out. But anyway, so then that was uh, lunch. And then Sunday, again, you know, we're walking around. We're doing our things and uh, the pastries and coffee and like sort of like that, you know, coffee shop with, with sweets and shit in the afternoon. is like so traditional here. So we ended up going to a coffee shop and again had another coffee and then we had a little dessert. And so this is the thing that I had. It's kind of like, it was like pastry with uh, dulce de leche, which is sort of like a, yeah, I mean, you guys know what dulce de leche is in the U.S. It's just very sweetened milk and a little meringue on top. And so this is, I mean, as far as like sugar, this was sugar central day. And you know what? Then by the time I got home last night, because, uh, you know, today's Sunday, but for me it's Monday. But anyway, I was feeling nauseated. I just, I didn't feel very good. I don't think my body is used to having that much sugar. It was a lot of sugar and my body was not liking it at all. I didn't feel good. I was like, uh, I'm, I'm done. So that's something that I noticed. I sort of, you know, the last few days have, have been more indulgy, if you will. You know, we've been indulging more. Uh, and eating more of the foods that we haven't been eating that they're not maybe not as as, as nutritious as nutrient dense and so Having the sugar just I felt awful. I felt nauseated and like I wanted to vomit <clears throat> It just it didn't feel good at all. So feeling a little bit better this morning um, I would say my mental health is not good like, it's not bad. Like, I don't have anything. I don't feel like I'm having any kind of, like, episode. I just feel like I'm in a funk. Again, like in a rut. I feel a little depressed. I don't feel very motivated. I don't really feel like doing anything. Uh, I'm questioning a lot of, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Um, is this, you know, should I be doing this? Like, all of these thoughts that, of course, you know... It, if you take a little time and try to, you know, be mindful and be a little more self-aware, you understand that, or I understand that it's, these are just thoughts. I don't have to identify with them. I don't, you know, they don't dictate uh, my actions, but it is, it does, you know, a little bit, it makes you uncomfortable because it's a, it's a work. It's a, it's a lot of work to not identify with those thoughts. 
and be mindful enough to recognize that these are just thoughts that are appearing in consciousness and I can just let them go. I don't have to identify with them. I don't have to let them dictate my life. But that just takes a while like it and it takes effort you know and i'm not always and again i just feel like having all these like you know crappy foods um are creating this which then put me in a bad mood and i just feel a little unmotivated and then that makes me want to go for some you know some more of these bad foods and since i was just getting here trying to be a little gentler on myself then i'm giving myself a little more permission there's a little more leeway to eat whatever you want to eat, trying to be mindful, but the things that I am eating. So I guess what I'm saying, trying to be mindful is trying to be mindful of the portions, especially, which is not that difficult to do here in Argentina, but just the, the types of foods I think are perpetuating this, this moodiness, the state of mind. And so, I don't know, maybe some of you guys will agree. I don't know if someone has a different opinion that they want to share on this, but yeah, just that, that has been a little tricky, a little weird. Um, and I have definitely not been feeling my best. So let's just close out for today. Tomorrow will be a new week. And we are going to try to get going the best that we can. Uh, see if we can have a better week, have a more productive week. So thank you guys. We keep at it. We still have 150 pounds to lose. A little bit less now, but we still have very big goals that we're trying to accomplish and we are not really letting anything get in our way. So thank you for hanging in there. I'll see you tomorrow.